you don't need God to succeed. Some of us who are working with God, things are happening. You know? My brother, I'm executing many projects on many fronts at the same time. So we don't come to church to succeed. I don't know if I'm teaching here. Listen, you don't need God to prosper. Matthew 6, 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Don't seek things. That's the way of the, of, of, of the Gentiles. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All that the Gentiles seek, they shall be added unto you. So that's why when somebody say, I am called to preach prosperity, there is no such message. I love when people call me and say, God told me. <laughs> oh my God. See, you are not indebted to anybody. They are under command. And it can happen to you as a businessman. Somebody can wake up and say, God told me to give you this contract. Somebody can wake up. See, this is how God intervenes in the affairs of men. You know what you are saying? He said, the heart of the king is in the hand of God. He turns it in whichever direction he pleases. All right, amazing viewer, you're welcome to this exciting video on this interesting topic featuring Dr. Abel Damina and Apostle Michael Oroko. Now, I'm going to play a video of Dr. Abel Damina where he teaches that God doesn't prosper men. And then right after that video, we're going to be watching a video from Apostle Michael Oroko where he counteracted that saints with the word of God from the Bible. So guys, I need you to stick to the end of this video if you want to get the full scope of the message and comprehend it well. So guys, I'll see you at the end of the video. You don't need God to succeed. Am I teaching here? You don't need God to succeed. Look at Warren Buffett. Look at Bill Gates. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs, who, who invented Apple, said there is no God. That God is a figment of the imagination of a poor man. That it is because you are poor and you don't know how to cure poverty so you create a god inside your mind that does not exist that is steve jobs the owner of apple very successful so you don't need god to succeed so we don't come to church to succeed i don't know if i'm teaching here listen you don't need god to prosper the richest people on earth don't know christ and they don't care about him that's why it is the preaching of the cross and to those out there it is foolish that means they don't need that preaching to build houses they don't need that preaching to make millions and billions they don't need it so that's why when somebody say i am called to preach prosperity there is no such message oh my goodness there is no message of prosperity there is the message of the cross. I feel like I'm preaching here. If you're hearing, shout, I hear, I hear. Yeah. There is, there is no message of prosperity. So the question is, do Christians prosper? Yes. Just like unbelievers prosper. Are we here? So prosperity is not unique to Christianity. Prosperity is for all. If you do what you need to do and you do it well, you succeed. If you do what you need to do and you do it well, you prosper. You make money without prayer. What is unique to us is the message. Number seven benefit of intimacy is purpose and direction. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 to 2. I will stand upon my watch. And I will see what he will say to me. And what I shall answer when I am reproved. Verse 2, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision, make it plain upon tables that it might run that reads it. When you find people who are visionless and directionless, the problem is not that they can't have vision. The problem is that they don't have relationship. If you have relationship with God, he will show you. He will show you. He will show you. Psalm 25 verse 14, he will show you his secrets. The secrets of the Lord are with them that fear him. He shows them their covenant, his covenants. He will show you. The moment Jeremiah showed up, before you were formed in your mother's womb, my God, and you are discovering now, this thing was available the day you were formed, before you were born. So that vision you discovered at 30, it was given before the earth began. That's when you came. And there are some people who are 40, they've not seen.
Some are 50, they've not seen. That means for 50 years, one of the fear I have in my heart is, may I not go to heaven and discover any dimension of God that was meant for me to have in time? The things that I'm supposed to find in time, I don't want to find them in eternity. Give me grace to search it out now. Imagine Joshua conquered 31 kingdoms. He thought he had achieved something. <laughs> See the land before you. I plan for you to take the whole territory. 31 is nothing. And the guy was already old. God will help you to see on time. Intimacy. The excellency. The blessedness of intimacy. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. He said, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They are thoughts of good. They are thoughts and not of evil. To give you a hope and a future or an expected end. But you can't see that without intimacy. That's why Jeremiah 3 verse 3 says, Ask of me, I will answer. But I don't only answer. He said, I will show you great and mighty things that you know not of. See, write these scriptures down. So that after the service, you prophesy to yourself until it becomes. I'm showing you why you must have a walk with God. Some of us who are working with God, things are happening. You know? My brother, I'm executing many projects on many fronts at the same time. I can't tell you how, but things are just happening. By the Spirit, things are happening. If I show you the things we command at the same time, compared to the short period of time, you know this is not supposed to be. It's impossible. And even those who connect to us because we connect to God, things are happening with them. And they have tangible testimonies. Intimacy. He said in Isaiah 60 verse 15, he said, you were a desolate land. You were hated and forsaken. No man went through thee. He said, but I have made you an eternal excellency. The joy of many generations. It's only those who walk with God that this is their reality. It doesn't matter who hates you. It doesn't matter whether you were isolated. It doesn't matter. How can a man who was forsaken, a man who was hated, a man who was isolated, suddenly become the joy of many generations? Because when God steps in, everything is equilibrated. It can be a desolate wilderness. Wait until the Holy Ghost is poured up from on high. Wait until intimacy is born. Blessedness. Number eight, blessing of intimacy. Healing. And restoration Psalm 23 verse 1 to 3 the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the still waters he restored my soul he leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his namesake healing and restoration when a man has a walk with God even areas that he has lost God will redefine the system so that he is restored. And I showed you there are two ways of restoration. It's either God causes the time to pass by you again because time is in cycles. The seasons can be re-engineered re to come back. Or God will give you speed to catch up. <laughs> Glory to God. And some of us, we need many cycles of restoration because you have lost four already. But when God restores, those seasons that pass, all of them will come back. Amen. And this time, you will have discernment to enter your Kairos moment. Amen. And if the seasons are not going to come quick, yes. God can give you speed so that you will catch up. Amen. Amen. Restoration. Hmm. Psalm 51 verse 11 and 12. Please write these scriptures down. Write them. Chew them, prophesy them. Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from within me. Why? Restore unto me the joy of my salvation. And uphold me with thy spirit. So it is God's presence that causes restoration to happen. If you cast me away, I can't be restored. So keep your presence so that restoration can be possible. Number nine, provision and blessings. Matthew 6 33 seek ye first the kingdom of God don't seek things that's the way of the of, of the Gentiles seek ye first the kingdom of God 
and his righteousness all that the Gentiles seek they shall be added unto you so for us blessings are addition and thank God we get added every day those of you who are around sometimes you see some things they just happen it's not because you are the lead apostle it's because you have a walk with God because what is happening with me was happening when I was under people too people hated me for what is happening now so it's not happening because I'm the general of here. When I was under, it was still happening. Because it's not about your position. It's about your work with God. It's about your work with God. It's about your work with God. Oh, Borakadege. My friend shared a testimony with me. Recently, I won't call his name. For security reasons. <laughs> he went on 90 days fasting and prayer. They were not asking for anything. He was just seeking God. Show me yourself in another dimension. Give me new realms. Introduce me into new order. And they were just praying. Suddenly people started losing their peace. This one we wake up, call. God told me. <laughs> I love when people call me and say, God told me. Oh my God. See, you are not indebted to anybody. They are under command. And it can happen to you as a businessman. Somebody can wake up and say, God told me to give you this contract. Somebody can wake up. See, this is how God intervenes in the affairs of men. You know what you are saying? He said, the heart of the king is in the hand of God. He turns it in whichever direction he pleases. God told me, this project I want to embark on, if I do it, I will die. Why? Take that money and give to my servant. <laughs> and the servant of the Lord said, be blessed. <laughs> They were not saying, don't go and pray witchcraft prayer. Oh Lord, cause people to give me. Relax. He said, your sons and daughters will come from afar. He said, strangers. They don't have to become your members. Strangers will stand to build your walls. Your walls are not built by your sons. God can compel strangers. He said, you shall suck the breast of kings. He said, the wealth of the Gentiles shall be transferred to you there are manipulations from the heavens yes. among men yes. but these things are for seekers because these are the wonders of god and they are not common it's they that journey to the deep that see the wonders of god there's a place people can enter in their cry and seeking of god and he can suddenly command egypt say give them all your wealth how can those who were tormenting people for 400 years suddenly give them their wealth you know that something supernatural was happening. He said, God gave favor to the Israelites and they spoiled the Egyptian. But it's for seekers. God is enough. Seek him. Everything will be added. Seek here first the kingdom. Seek here first the kingdom. And his righteousness. He said, all that the Gentiles seek shall be added to you. And finally, which is the ultimate blessing of intimacy is life eternal life eternal i quoted already john 17 3 this is life eternal that they may know him the only true god him whom he has sent he said the wages of sin is dead romans 6 23 he said but the gift of god i see somebody breaking into abundance Amen. because you become a seeker of god I have not called the seed of Jacob to seek me in vain. When you seek him, he blesses you. Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God. He shall bless thy bread and thy waters and remove sickness from the midst of thee. I'm seeing a people that are entering into rest and peace such as the world does not give. I'm seeing a people stepping into supernatural provision supernatural preservation listen it doesn't matter how many people die you are not part of them oh they say oh there is a plague 70 people have died that's nothing it says thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right hand so eleven thousand people can die it shouldn't put you under pressure rather you pray for their preservation because you are the salt of the earth we are not here hoping that will be kept we are the salt we it's because we are here that the people will stop dying
When you are there, 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 when you are there. See, sit down for a moment. When we tell you to build a walk with God, we are not making you religious by God. We are showing you the way of excellent existence. Can we pray in tongues for two minutes? Pray in the spirit. Those of you connected online, pray in the spirit. Mandakora Bakaras. Cecila Bragido Sabakatana. Lahila Prado Stafara Diastas at Tavina Ardostas. Rege Bababaro Stavana Dila Dahush. Dahush Dahila Taki. Zehedina Antaparos. Dregagadina Zonzoria Paragadina Zanza. Leho Rahanda Tiatalish. That was a good preaching out there from Apostle Michael Oropo. Let us hear what you think about what he said or what the video entirely said. Do you support Apostle Abel Damina or you or do you or you feel some things he said were true while some were totally wrong or you support Apostle Michael Oropo? Let's just share your thoughts on the comment section and that is that for this video. We'll see you on our next video. Please stay blessed. Just in case you want to watch the full video where Apostle Michael Oropo talked about this extensively, watch this video here. It will show you more information on this very topic.